A story we told you about last night. This morning on Daybreak, thanks to you, we have a happy, happy ending. A Grand Rapids man with cerebral palsy who uses a trike to ride eight miles to his job every day. That bike's stolen right off of his lawn. Overnight, West Michigan stepping up to the plate to help out. Our newsroom flooded with calls and emails and Facebook posts from people wanting to help in some way. 24-Hour News 8's Dee Morrison is live in Grand Rapids with a man here to help share his story, a story you'll see only here, right here on Daybreak. Dee? That's right. Help is here for Nicholas Knack. This is his house. This is where his trike was locked up, but somebody just broke the lock and stole it yesterday. He found it when he came out in the morning. Now, we worked with Nick last night. He was able to get up and meet us out here this morning along with another gentleman who wanted to help. First of all, I wanted to touch base with Nicholas. Maybe you can tell us how much it means to you. I know this morning there's a surprise for you kind of on the front lawn. Tell us about that. Um... It's Saturday now because this is going to be my way to have my life back and go to work and get food and get out of the house. Nick was telling us last night this was really a lifeline to be able to have the bike. And we also wanted to introduce today, we talked to them a little bit, uh, a little while ago. This is Jeff Yonkers. He's with Terra Trike, and that's a local Grand Rapids company, uh, Kentwood actually based, that makes these recumbent bikes. And tell us kind of why you're out here this morning. Well, we saw the uh, the piece last night, and uh, we were uh, touched, and we know what it, what, it, what it's like to lose a bike. So we thought we're in the position that we can uh, offer him a, a new tr new trike, and that's why we're here. Well, Nick said he wanted to give it a try this morning, give it a go, and see how it works. Um, from what Jeff was telling us a little while ago, this bike is designed just a little bit differently than the one he had previously, so it may take a little bit of getting used to, but it's actually a bit of an upgrade from the bike that he had. In fact, Nick said it was $900 that he had to take a year to save up in order to buy his previous bike, so you can imagine how devastated he was when he found out that he had it stolen yesterday. So, like I say, it could take a little bit of getting used to the new bike. He's going to give it a, a give it a bit of a test run this morning. And actually, the way this came together, uh, Jeff was telling us last night, um, you weren't the one who saw it on the news. It was an owner's wife. Yep, yep. She saw it on the news and called me, and uh, instantly, within probably 10 minutes, we started getting emails and uh, requests from people that wanted to help out. And it's been just great. Looks like he's having no problem with the new trike. That's a wonderful thing. Now, um, you were saying a little while ago you weren't surprised that people wanted to help. You were just surprised by how quickly it yeah. came out. What kind of, uh, what were you getting from people? Uh, every, all the way from people wanting to buy him a new bike to helping him you know, help pay for the new one. Um, and just within like three minutes after the piece was done, we started getting emails. And I know you posted on our Facebook page um, of, uh, for the Wood TV8 that um, you were willing to do this along with other people who wanted to give money and now you said you're trying to figure out what to do next. Right, yeah. There's been so much uh, so much outpouring of uh, people wanting to help. I'm not sure what, <laughs> what, we, what we can do. I think Nick has left us. He's yeah. got long gone on his bike now. He really wanted to check it out this morning. So, again, um, bike was stolen yesterday. We, we did the story last night at 10 and 11, and, of course, the people at Terra Trike in Kentwood saw that story. Then Jeff posted on Facebook, and along with dozens of other people who all offered to, if we could get them in contact with Nick, they wanted to buy him a new bike. There were couples from all over the area, individuals who wanted to donate to that cause. This morning, Nick was able to have a brand new trike thanks to the people of West Michigan and Terra Trike. So we appreciate it. We're very happy to be able to bring you a happy ending this morning. Back to you. Absolutely great story there, Dee. Thank you so much for bringing that to us this morning. And thank you, West Michigan, yeah. for, for stepping up. Yeah. We love bringing you these happy stories.